Let's head southeast now, where Joe McCann introduces us to another standout on the defensive line. Ask anyone in Georgia's Gwinnett County and they'll tell you it is one of the best areas in the country for high school football. Now here at Norcross High School, they not only have one of the nation's best teams, but also one of its best players. The Norcross Blue Devils finally broke through in 2012. After being a strong program for many years, Norcross went 15-0 and captured its first state championship. It was unbelievable. I mean, the community jumped on board, and they've always been on board and been very supportive along with the administration of the school because they know at that level what it does for young men. And considering the powerful teams like Camden County, Colquitt County, and Grayson that reside in Georgia, it says a lot that Norcross rose to the top to claim the title. This area has produced more than its fair share of Division I talent. Just a year ago, we were in this area talking to Ole Miss commit Robert Kimdichie and Ohio State commit Trey Johnson. This year, it's Norcross defensive end Lorenzo Carter who is grabbing the headlines as one of the top players in the 2014 class. Oh yeah, I'm going to pass rush. I'm going to get after quarterback. Um, hopefully, well, every night I think the quarterback will know who I am by the end of the night. Carter is a lean, fast pass rusher who is a nightmare to stop off the edge. His quickness and size are an impossible matchup for most high school linemen. 6'5", 225, 230 pounds, and, and as an athlete, that's what separates him. He's just, a, he's just a great athlete. He's a great basketball player, and, and, he's, and he's also a great person. Coming from a family of basketball players, including his sister Larissa, who plays at Coppin State, Lorenzo always thought his future would be on the hardwood. But as he's grown, he's learned he has a chance to truly shine on the gridiron. This is my first time actually making football a priority. It's been basketball for forever. Since I started playing sports, it was basketball, basketball, basketball. But this past year, I realized that I can go far in football. People have always told me that uh, I'm a one in a million player for football, but I'm a dime a dozen for basketball because I'm just not that tall in basketball and I play the four position. So I still go out there and dominate, but it's whatever. As he lets his basketball dreams go, his future as a football player is as bright as ever. He not only helped Norcross reach the top with his dominant play on the line, but also as a leader in practice. You know, when you run across great players, and I, and I talk to him about this stuff, it's not how you're gonna play, because we know you can play, but it's how you're gonna get people around you to play. You, you have to raise the level of the player around you. And if you can do that, then you will go down in the books as one of the top players around here. I just let them know I'm out here giving them my all and you see what it got me. So they can work hard and just try to get to the same level I am. I just try, I wanna be personable. Um, I wanna be someone who the younger players can come to and talk, talk about their problems with me. If they're not getting much playing time, I can relate to that. I can tell them that their time will come. Carter has plenty of options at the next level. It's just about every major program in college football has extended him a scholarship offer. I just want to go somewhere where I can major in engineering and while playing football for a national championship. I want to compete. I just want to go out there and have a chance to go get a bowl ring. Based on how Carter's performed at Norcross, Coach Maloof won't be surprised to see him continue to rise in the football world. He walked in and he's done everything that we've asked him to do. He has uh, worked as hard as any kid we've ever coached. He's got an ability that, that non, not many kids at that, that position have. Um, and he's just worked it and, and he's done a great job and, and I'm glad things are going his way, being one of the top defensive ends in the nation. And uh, hopefully he bring, leads us to a state title again this year and goes on and has a great career in college and we'll see him on Sundays one day. In Norcross, Georgia, I'm Joe McCann.